to my channel if you're new here go ahead hit the subscribe button and hit the thumbs up button I'm gonna go do the subscriber and the comments of the week a little bit later because I'm in a rush but if you've clicked on this video it's because I am a wedding dress shopping this weekend I am so freaking excited and I'm gonna go pick up my best friend right now she's coming in from Boston and her um, I need to go get her from the bus station so I thought it would be a good time to start the vlog today's Friday we are in the middle of the virus like madness scariness craziness right now Mike and I both got the word from our companies that we should be working from home so he and I have been working from home full-time since Wednesday so it's been a few days um, and it's kind of scary you guys like I'm not gonna lie a couple of people from my company have been quarantined so um, Massachusetts has declared a state of emergency. It's pretty wild, so we kind of stocked up on some food and stuff, but my friend still came and traveled um, to go do this whole wedding dress shopping thing with me, so I'm really excited about that. Hey guys, so I'm actually in line at the gas station trying to get some gas, so I thought it'd be a good time to do the subscribers of the week. Um, so the su subscribers of this video are Chevelle Pouncey, thank you, and Tori Kyles. Thank you guys both of you for hitting the subscribe button I really 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 appreciate it if you want to be featured as a subscriber of the week all you have to do is hit the subscribe button and um, you know I'll shout you out um, okay and the comment of the week goes to call sign Hawkenate she says love your vlog thank you so much I really appreciate it I work really hard on them so every comment makes me feel really happy and the next comment goes to Williette's World, who just says, you are so pretty. And that is so nice. Thank you so much. So sweet of you. If you guys want to be featured as a subscriber or as a commenter of the week, all you have to do is comment on my most recent vlog, and I will feature you. Good morning, guys. It's the next day. Anita's here. She's in my kitchen. And we are about to go, yeah, <laughs> we are about to go dress shopping. But we have to pick up Mike's mom first. So that's what we're gonna do. As soon as Mike texts me back, or I'm gonna have to call his mom, because I just realized I don't know where they live. <laughs> I like, do not have the address. So we're gonna, what the heck? So yeah, we're gonna go do that. It's gonna be really fun. This is my outfit. It's a dress. What the hell, Lou? See, that's Lou. If that you can hear nice. that. Yeah. These are the shoes from Nasty Gal. This is the dress from Lulu's. And then we're gonna find a real dress. Welcome back. It is the next day. 
So I thought I'd give you guys a really quick update on everything that's happening. So um, the way I think I'm organizing this vlog is I put all the footage that I have for bridal dress shopping in the beginning and I think I actually have a clip where you can hear the girl say that like we can't really take any pictures or videos so basically the situation is went to go dress shopping got there they actually don't allow you to take any pictures or videos of the dress that you're trying on um, but you can take as many pictures and videos as soon as you choose the dress that you want and this is because they work with a lot of private labels and stuff like that and while I really wanted to respect that no so we snuck a few pictures and we snuck a few video clips um, actually I don't think we have any video clips of me trying on other dresses but I did have a couple of those pictures and I did have some videos as you guys saw of kind of the space I have to say that like if you live in the New England area, if you live in Connecticut, if you live in Massachusetts, if you live in um, even New Hampshire, make the trip to Fall River, go to Alexandra's Boutique. I had the best experience ever. Um, I sent them pictures of kind of what I was thinking. They pulled a bunch of different stuff. In total, I tried on nine dresses, and the sixth dress that I tried on is a dress that I said yes to. So I did find a wedding dress. It is unreal. Um, I am so excited. I have so many pictures and videos and so what I plan to do is once I'm married I'll do a separate vlog about like me saying yes to the dress and you'll see kind of exactly what happened from the moment that I picked my dress and my veil. So that's pretty much all set. I signed the papers, put down the deposit and it should be coming here in three to four months and I'll get the fittings and stuff like that. So, so stoked about that. Um, it was a really great experience and I I think everyone dreams about you know finding their dress for the first time and it was just so amazing I it was everything that I ever hoped it would be I went if I don't I don't know if I've if I said this before but I went dress shopping with my mom my sister who is my matron of honor my best friend Anita who's my maid of honor and Mike's mom and it was just great they were all so great it was just amazing and then Mike I showed you got me the bottle of champagne which we popped um, once I picked the dress so I think the other update that I feel like I have to talk about in the vlog because it's just kind of like my life and like what's happening right now so if you follow me on Instagram you know that Mike and I have been working from home we are it is March 15th it's March 15th and we are pretty much in the middle of this crazy debacle. Um, I live in Boston, the state of Massachusetts, and so the state of Massachusetts has um, has uh, declared a state of emergency and I think they declared a state of emergency on Wednesday and it's Sunday now and it's been weird. It's been weird. Uh, working in the legal department, I traveled a lot, and so I traveled to Seattle where they are headquartered, and that's kind of where the epicenter of the outbreak of corona in the United States was, and it was kind of the first place to declare a state of emer emergency, and my company, which is a massive company, made their employees work from home for the state of Seattle, and as it progressed, more and more people had to work from home, um, and eventually, um, my offices here in Boston were made to work from home full time until further notice but we're thinking now through April which is a long time to be working from home Mike is already working from home three days a week but he his company and the company that I used to work at which is another massive company um, is also making their employees work from home for safety reasons it's, I wouldn't say it's scary it's just I didn't expect to really pick up in this kind of way so pretty much on Wednesday <laughs> on Wednesday I had a feeling things were gonna get kind of crazy and so Mila do you want to talk about okay hold on hey guys so the lighting is really bad but we are in the car and we are headed out to Target to get some games and just kind of walk around and do some stuff I kind of made this point in an earlier clip, there was like a news article said that Boston was deserted and that there was no one out. And right now, we are out. It's about it's 
525. Um, traffic is normal. <laughs> it is pretty normal. There are quite a few people out. I think if ever they were to put something in place where we couldn't leave, it would become post-apocalyptic, kind of like what that article said. But right now, it is pretty dang normal. Oh, well, the one thing is that everything is pretty much gone from the shelves. Like, I've actually never seen freezers like this before. It's all freaking empty. And this is Target, so. Here it is, plant based protein. So empty. But then, like, all the vegetarian stuff is still here, so that's interesting. If you guys don't want paper towels or toilet papers or literally any disinfectant ever or whatever was in this aisle. They left the Viva of all the toilet, of all the freaking paper towels, the best ones. Seriously? Are they that expensive that people wouldn't buy them? They are that expensive. These are the paper towels we buy, you guys. <laughs> They're the only paper towels left, and these are the ones we buy. <laughs> only in singles, though. Only in singles, but you you get them, right? Yeah. But true. Tell them what you just told me. I said we need to get more cat food for the, the girls. <laughs> He's a liar. <laughs> he said that when the apocalypse comes, people are gonna throw out their cats, so we don't have to worry about buying cat food for yeah. the cats. Because yeah, I told him to buy more dry aisle. food for the cats, do, do a, and he do did a it. Side by side of the paper towel aisle and the cat food aisle, and if Joe's telling me I'm not the rightest person in the world right now. No, he's not the rightest person in the world right now. Yeah, right. I was like, okay, Mike, you need to buy extra What's cat that? food and all kind of stuff, like an extra food for the cats, because like we're buying extra food for oh, and litter. And we have he's so like, much fine, so we, we have like a bunch of extra litter, a bunch of like extra wet food, and then like a bunch of extra dry food, just in case we can't leave the house. They need to eat too, you know? And he's just like, why are we doing this? Of, uh, of wet food. I thought yeah. the same thing. Okay, let's get another box. We have to get the pate. Oh, it's 30 of grilled. I want a 30 pack one. Oh no, that's grilled. Is it all, is it all, grilled? all the 30 packs are all grilled, but it's only like a few cans more. Yeah. So, yeah, it's literally like six cans more. So yeah, we just wanna make sure that if we're stuck in the house for a while, we eat, but then they eat, and also where they poop, can't, like, they need to have a place to poop. Because yeah, then it we have about, just turns into anarchy. We have about 60 pounds of litter right now, I think. We have a ton of litter, so. No, we're just gonna get, yeah. we're, we're just gonna have, like, get a little more cat food just to be safe. I don't want my babies to starve. The weights are gone as well. I think people are preparing to like work out from home, which I find pretty interesting. I did not expect that to happen. Let's go look at video games. Oh yeah, the real reason we're here. The real reason we're here. Oh wait, should we, can we go, uh, we're right here. Can we go against that wall and look at puzzles and like board games? Sure. Okay.